Hi, my name is Cody Canning and I'm the director of the First Year Learning Initiative. Uh, thank you for agreeing to participate in our equity uh, student experience survey this spring. Um, and I appreciate you in advance uh, clicking through this PowerPoint and watching these small videos. Uh, we're hoping it's an appropriate alternative and an efficient time uh, alternative to gathering together and, and having a full meeting. While I am the director of the First Year Learning Initiative, I am not the first director of the First Year Learning Initiative. Um, some of my predecessors include Blaise Scarnati, Michelle Miller, um, Kevin Ketchner, I know, was also deeply involved in the First Year Learning Initiative and, and probably folks that uh, I'm unaware of. The First Year Learning Initiative has about a 10-year history here on this campus, and one of my colleagues, Amy Rushall in Faculty Development, uh, was just yesterday telling me that it's, it's hard to sometimes remember how important Phyli has been to our campus. You know, for example, there are certain things that we do in introductory level classes today, whether that's reaching out and keeping tabs on students that we might be concerned about, uh, early and often assessments, um, giving a lot of transparency and guidance uh, to students about what we're doing and why we're doing that while some of that seems really natural in many respects today, the reality was that 20 years ago, those were not necessarily assumptions and that that culture shift had a lot to do with the first year learning initiative. And so you'll see here that we're building on past successes with this new focus on equity. What we are able to access at the institutional level is equity gaps in terms of course completion. When you disaggregate it, you can see that in certain courses, for example, um, white students or white male students are more likely to complete courses than their racially minoritized counterparts. They might also cut along gender lines, for example. But one of the things that we don't have, that we can't find in the numbers, is how students are feeling about this. And what we know about equity and we know about student success is that the student experience um, is an incredibly powerful determinant on how all of that shakes out. So as we seek to learn more about not only where the equity gaps are, um, we are also looking to see why the equity gaps are. And we're looking to hear the student voice. And so we're building on our previous successes in the program or I should say the initiative, um, and expanding it to focus on equity or deepening it to focus on equity. And this next step in doing that is finding out what students are experiencing. And we're going to start, uh, thankfully to you, by finding out what they're experiencing in your class first.